So, any day now, the PS4 launch, eh? Some of you have probably already got it with early adoption packs, kind of thing. So, I thought I'd just go over a few quick basics. The sort of first things that you see quite a lot of um, in the chat when people join. Now, this is on the PC still. Uh, I won't be getting the PS4 version. I'm too far ahead in this one to start again with a um, PS4. And I don't have a PS4, so that doesn't help. So, when you start off, and you start coming across the enemy like this, they will drop orbs. Kill this one. Fortunately, I left it on the top. So a little slower. There we go. So with that, you'll get knowledge of enemies. You'll also get map fragments from time to time. If you see these guys, rescue them. And you'll get followers. Now make sure you pick up all those orbs that drop because you're going to need them. Now, in here, if you go to provinces, when you first start, you're going to need to follow this. You're going to have to go all the way through. My advice on this is get it done. Just go through that, follow that whole line, get it out of the way. That gets you to your god mode and all the rest of it. You cannot co-op play until you get past I think it's a lacquer island once you get to that one I think you can then from there on go co-op with your friends until then you need to do this solo I think dank it I think you can only do dank it anyway solo you gotta if it's still the same as it was you use the knowledge of enemies for this thing it may have changed because they do change a lot I can't see it because obviously I've ranked up as high as it goes so save those knowledge of enemies for these sort of things. And let's go back again. These regions, as far as I was aware, you can co-op in these, I think probably right from the start. They're just regions, so these are great things. You get with a friend and just go through the whole lot. There'll be loads of missions to do, and you can do them over once you've finished them. You get a lot of knowledge and pickups. You can get weapons, all sorts. So do those when you start out. Uh, they're a lot of fun. And it's, but like I say, try and get through that story mission. Bastions, bastions will give you missions each day. So just click down here, and there's a there's a bastion in each of the provinces. So click on them, read about what it is, because it'll take you several days to get it upgraded because you need so many points it'll be less when you start off but as you get further ahead they get harder so pick which ones you want and upgrade them again those knowledge well you need credit for this one you need to upgrade those when you can and you'll get certain boosts and things as well as you do them. this one you'll need the knowledge for now one of these I think they've changed it around now it's it's all a bit different but you'll get to try things out here as well um, it's all changed around now and you get your might from this one I think so make sure you upgrade that to increase your might Templar Deeds that'll be for your god stuff and you get it distortions you won't even be thinking about at the moment this you can go on uh, you'll be on the fighter nights and you can receive quests you'll get certain things each day I believe uh, it'll be the fighter nights you see there it says combat superiority but this will actually give you strength against these fighting knights and it will also give you increased damage that sort of thing so click on those click them even if you're not doing the missions because they'll stay on and if you just randomly do a mission with a friend and not even thinking about it you might clear some of your stuff like that and also go to that and activate your quest, your daily quest because you learn all this stuff which you're going to need again save your victor's medals don't uh, try not to waste them because you will use those here the best thing here is upgrade your bastions and knowledge towers and that sort of thing I wouldn't have bothered with all this other stuff you can if you want but it'll leave you lagging behind you may get a nice little like, companion or whatever but your or horse 
but you will lag behind in your um, might and the rest from your friends if they go along with these things and it's the quicker way to sort of upgrade yourself these are just for the hell of having them gimmicky kind of thing by all means get them in time but to start with you really want to be doing these things might from cathedral it'll just increase how much you get so it'll speed up your progression and here you have your quests once you've clicked on those things you'll get your daily directives you've got your bastions so you can see what you've got to do and yeah just either do these or they'll they'll happen as you're playing through you'll, you'll eventually do them all um, so yeah even if you're just playing with friends for, for fun make sure you've got these clicks on you might clear a few while you're playing without knowing it and it just saves you having to grind on them Um, the lavatory one, like I say, I've never really been too concerned about that one. But your directives definitely, because it gives you stuff each day, and your bastions. This is what's going to give you your... raise your prestige and your might, that kind of thing. Well there you have it, that's just a few uh, tips to get you started. Make your life a little bit easier. And I didn't really want to fight him. And I can't go because that is going to stop me. Never mind. Right, through the game world you will find these chests. There's one right here and you open them and they will give you crystals these crystals if you go to the shop which is here and costumes you will find down here further down there we go you collect them up and you can get costumes so you can do that now another thing that you might want to do we see this question a lot as well is if you come into the star room, you've got a companion. You'll get one of these at the start. You'll get that one. Um, this you can turn it off. You don't need to have it visible. So if there's a lot of you playing, sometimes you've got all these things buzzing around, it can get quite confusing or just annoying. So there you go. There's just a few tips to help you out through the game.